I haven't scripted this. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I thought I would do a little update video for you guys to let you know what's been going on. I have wanted to have my own label for a long time and I've been songwriting for myself and for other people and that's going super well and I just thought, um, you know, it would be cool to also have my own label. So that's what I've done. Teapot Records, yes, classic Trigua. Teapot Records is my independent record label. I founded this last year and initially it was just to put out Another Beautiful Mistake, the original version. And that went really well. We did a pledge campaign that got 200% because you're all awesome and really supportive and thank you so much. And that meant that I could make this crazy music video that me and my management had had some crazy ideas for. And we did that and we put that out check it out below. Then, because I was getting so much support from you guys online, I got to do an interview on Radio 1 about how smartphones and the internet has changed the world, and Another Beautiful Mistake was played on Radio 1, which was like madness. If someone had said to me when I was younger that I was going to write this song with an incredible songwriter on the other end of the country, and we were going to go to Germany to work with an amazing producer, and I was going to be able to make this music video that I'd dreamed, like literally had dreams about making, and then it's going to get played on Radio 1. I would have thought I'd been signed to a major label. But I'm not. And it happened. How mad is that? And I'm so grateful because I wouldn't have been able to do any of the stuff that I'd done without your support. And, and that's what is the epic thing. And I've got so much further to go and I, I still feel like a really small fish kind of blagging my swim around this huge um, musical ocean filled with sharks and um, other bigger, prettier fish. I've got big plans for this label and I've got a core group of awesome people who are encouraging me and supporting me with this music malarkey. So I really wanted to say thank you, really. Also thank you to Captive, a DJ from Belgium got in touch and said, do you want to work on a remix? And I thought that his stuff was awesome, so I was like, yeah, why not? And then he made this remix of Another Beautiful Mistake, which you can check out, links below. He made this remix of Another Beautiful Mistake, which is great. It was good enough to just be great. I was just like, this is awesome. I've got a remix of my song that I've put out on my independent label. But then it started charting in the club chart. So the first week in the chart, that remix got to number 30. And then the second week in the chart, which is right now, it's at number 13. So we made top 20. It, said, it literally says like, another beautiful mistake, Hannah Trigwell, Captive DJ remix on Teapot Records. All the other labels must be looking at that just thinking, what the hell? <laughs> like, who the hell is that? I just wish I could hug you all, really. That's the thing. That's the next barrier to get around. How to hug you all. Hmm. Yes, we'll tour, obviously. My next single that comes out, I want it to be amazing because I've worked hard on this song for a long time, as has Sky Van Hoff, the producer, as has my management. So it's my responsibility to make something that I feel like is the best that it can possibly be and I feel like I owe that to you guys for being so supportive. I also think that you have the power to make stuff happen. You could make a live date in your city happen and we could make a worldwide tour happen. It is possible. I need to be able to say to a promoter in your area, look how many people want me to perform in Indonesia, for example, or America, or Scotland. <laughs> So keep spreading the word, it really does make a difference. It really, really does make a difference. And also let me know down there, stagelink.com. You'll be able to tell me where you want me to play a show, just request your city, and how much you'd be willing to pay for a ticket. All of this stuff goes straight to a promoter and I'm gonna be stood there like, let's go. Keep a look out for announcements about my brand new single, which hasn't officially been released yet, so I'm gonna hold that for a little bit longer, sorry about that. Anything I've mentioned in this video, all links and more info is below and yeah, let's do this.